Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you on how to create your first reflection on your website. So I've come back to the website. Remember, this is going to be in the folder that you've made for this class. So go ahead and open up your site and we are going to go to the reflections page. All of your reflections should be on the reflections page. So you can either click at the top of the menu of your box here or you can come over to pages and you can click on the reflections page as well. We have already created this three boxes for your reflections. If you did not get to that point yet, the layout that you're going to use is this top left one right here. And we added an extra title. Remember underneath that box where the image is, we need to add a caption. Any images that you put onto your website need to have a caption. So we are going to start on reflection one. So reflection one was about Greek pottery. So go ahead and title your reflection. So reflection one, if it doesn't all fit on, you can either put it on two lines like this, however you want to do that, that's up to you. Make sure that it is um, title case. You may also use heading. If you don't want it quite to be so big, um, you can change the whole thing to heading if you would like to. If you change it to heading, it will actually all fit on one line. Remember that the paragraph below needs to be normal text. Um, the paragraph above, like I said, you can use title or subheading. Okay, so by putting it into heading, it will all fit onto one line. Um, if you're going to do that, make sure that all of these are the same. Make sure that all of them are headings. So go ahead. However you format one reflection, you want to make sure that they are all exactly the same because you want to have unity and design on your website. The next thing that we're going to do is make sure that you open your reflection that has been returned to you. Um, one thing that you need to make sure that you do is that you have actually checked everything through Grammarly. So if you have not done that, I'll show you really quick how to do that. Go ahead and click on the Grammarly. If you have not installed Grammarly for Chrome, get the extension and go ahead and um, you can open it up. This says that it's actually not turned on, so let's go ahead and turn that on. And then let's come back. So if you have it on, it should actually come in and start correcting everything. So there you're going to see little red lines under everything that needs to be corrected. So just if you just roll your mouse over each thing and just click on the suggestion, it's actually going to go through and correct that for you. So you should have done this before you turned in the assignment. Um, if you did not, like I said, make sure that it is corrected before you put it onto your website um, because you will not get the full amount of points if you have errors in spelling, grammar, or punctuation. So again, just come through and make sure that everything has been corrected. Read through it, make sure that it all um, this looks like, let's see, this is supposed to be vase. Looks, this doesn't quite go. We can just take out that word there. So like I said, you should be proofreading, spell checking, everything. Once it goes onto your website, remember this is a reflection of yourself and you wanna make sure that you are reflecting um, an academic, make sure that you're, um, reflecting yourself in a professional manner. All right, so we went through and made some changes there. Again, I would proofread it and make sure. All right, so once you're ready to go, you have your worksheet open. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and I wanna add my picture. So there's a couple of ways that I can do that. You can go to the plus, um, you can select the image, you can do something, you can do it from your drive, however you want to. So here's our image here. And I'm going to go ahead and let's see what we got here. We got crop image, replace image, image options. Um, so a couple things you can do is one, you can actually just copy the image and then you can come in and you can paste the image, but it's gonna paste it underneath in a separate box. So what you're gonna wanna do is drag that image up here. And you saw how when you click on the image, when you're dragging it, you see how it'll create a little blue line? And it's gonna show you where it's gonna place it. Make sure that you are placing it 
above and then you can go ahead and get rid of this extra box here. Oops. Let's go ahead and if you ever um, accidentally undo something, you can just hit Control Z to undo. So if you make a mistake like I just did, make sure when you're hitting delete that you only have this one box selected. Remember how I told you in the last video, do you see how this selects all three of these content boxes? We don't wanna delete all those. So make sure you click again so you just have this one box. So there we go, now you have your picture of your pottery and you have your caption below, you have your title and then this is where your reflection is gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and go back over here and I'm going to take my project description and I'm going to copy that. So make sure you have your title, the artist, culture, date, size. Make sure this is all title case. The first letter of every word needs to be capitalized. So go through and check that the first letter of each word is capitalized. Nothing is underlined in red, which means it's spelled wrong. Um, so make sure that you check all that first. Now I'm going to come over here to this caption box. Again, make sure that it's only this box that is highlighted. And I'm going to select the text and delete it. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste in that information. Do you see how it made the box a little bit longer? That's because it pasted in some empty um, like we hit enter so it pasted it in so make sure if you have if you hit enter you see how it makes the box longer go ahead and backspace and get rid of that extra space we don't want to have a bunch of space at the bottom so now you have your information the next thing we want to do is go ahead and copy in our reflection so the reflection has been um, edited so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and come to this first paragraph here I'm going to copy and then I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go ahead and paste. And you can actually choose play, paste as plain text. Oh, it did not copy. So Control Z. I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to hit copy. Let's come back over here again. Paste as plain text. Again, you see how it added an extra space above the paragraph. Please click at the beginning. Make sure you move your cursor to the beginning and then just hit backspace to get rid of that. And then we're going to go back to the second paragraph. And we're going to copy. And I'm going to hit paste as plain text. The reason why we're pasting as plain text is because we want all the text on our website to match. We don't want to pull any um, styles. If you look at this text on here, this is actually a different font. So we want all of our text to match. Again, I highlight it, I'm gonna hit copy, and I'm gonna come back over here. And again, I'm gonna right click and paste as plain text. So there are my three paragraphs. I'm gonna go through and just check that one more time and make sure that I don't have, looks like there's an extra space there. Greek should be capitalized. Again, you can double check this one more time. Now that you have all of this in here, Go ahead and select all of it and right click and hit copy. And then again, I can go ahead and come over to my Grammarly and go ahead and click on the plus down here, new document. And so I'm gonna double check this one more time just to make sure. Right here where it says type or paste your text here, I'm gonna go ahead and paste in all of my text. My audience is going to be knowledgeable my formality, I'm gonna go ahead and do neutral or formal. And then this is academic, because we are writing, oh, this doesn't let you do that anymore. It looks like it that's a premium. All right, so you just wanna make sure your intent is to inform or describe, and your tone should be neutral. And then go ahead and hit done. So then it's going to go through and look for some overall, anything that needs to be changed. So let's see what this is saying here. So this is just a suggestion. It says it can be redundant, so you can keep it. So it looks like it's not really, I had already capitalized Greek, so it's not finding any other mistakes in here. So that's what you would do. Once you correct it, then you would just copy this and you would just paste it back here if you've made a bunch of changes to it.
So that is that. If you look, now we have our reflection one. We have our title. Remember, this is a separate box. Text goes down below, normal text. Remember that we changed our title to heading. So if you do change your title to heading, make sure you change all of your titles to heading. We want to make sure they're the same. Uh, we copied and pasted our picture here. And then we copied and pasted our title here. And that is everything. So the last thing that you're going to do is we need to make sure that you can turn this in. So you are going to screenshot this. And so you're going to screenshot by holding down the control and um, the screenshot button, which I, my computer is F7, but if you have a Chromebook, make sure that you are choosing the correct um, button. On the Chromebook, it's on the top. I believe it is still F7. And then it looks like two boxes that are overlapping each other. You'll hold down the control and the F7, and it will screenshot it, and it will put it into your drive. So... I'll kind of show you here, see if it'll do it for me. I'm on a different device, so it works a little bit differently. And then you're gonna make sure that you turn in your screenshot. You're gonna screenshot, if your reflection is too long, screenshot the top half and then screenshot the bottom half and turn in both of those screenshots to Google Classroom. So there you are, that is your first reflection. And I will be posting another video as we go on and we post our other reflections. But that is your first one that we did. So if you have any questions, let me know. And I will see you soon.